Hi, right, today I'm going to show you guys two ways of connecting your uh, CX20 to Droid Planner slash Tower. I'll show you where to get it from. Um, here's the cable here for the OTG. You have you can connect this cable with a telemetry like that, or you can actually connect it directly with just a USB cable. There's other ways as well through network, TCP, and through Bluetooth, but I'll show you these two ways and the locations. So I just did a fresh install on his phone so hopefully it acts quicker. So here you to type Droid Planner, and it comes up at Droid Planner three. Okay, you also need another program. It's the services from 3 dr Robotics, but uh, it should actually install once you click on Tower. Well, here it is here. So just click yes to this or install. Alright, so that all went good. Actually. Okay, so the first way I'll try connecting it is uh, directly with the USB cable. With those steps, what you'll want to do is go to settings, go to telemetry connection type. It says USB, so that's fine. Go to advance. That right at the top, you'll see the connection preferences. Click on that one. There it'll say telemetry link speed, 57600. Change it to 115200. Then get out of that. All right, so connecting the cable. I connected this cable here. So this USB here connects directly into the CX20. I might get power issues because I still have the uh, telemetry plugged in as well. So it's trying to power up everything. Also, you're not gonna hear any beeping noises from my quadcopter because I have a different APM. Okay, so this guy pops up here. Say OK. So hopefully it works. Then just try pushing the connect button. Connected. All right, so I'm connected. Checkboard lost GPS log. So the checkboard voltage is because I'm pretty sure it's because it's trying to power the uh, telemetry as well. Okay, so the second way of doing it. So this time, you want the preferences on the default, that's the 57. So for now, I'll go back to settings. I go to advanced, connection preferences, and I'm gonna change the telemetry link speed back to 57600. Okay. 
back to the main menu. This table here. Now all I have to do is plug in this into here. Again, this popped up again, so I'm gonna say okay. Now, if you don't get a green flashing light on your um, telemetry, it could be because you actually need an external power source as well. That's why when I ordered this cable, I got the one that has this option. So you can plug in an external power. Some phones can handle it. Okay, so back to this. So once this is on, now what you wanna do is plug in this EX20. So now you can see this has a red blinking light and this also has a red blinking light and they're communicating with each other. So now I'll just push connect. And it says connection failed. Could be because I was in the other settings before. I just exit it. So I just had to exit the program, come back in. Okay, so I'm good to go. It can see it. I can arm it. And hopefully it doesn't fly away in my living room. Armed. Waypoints received. Disarm it. Disarmed. Right, those are the two ways. Um, you also don't need to have a data plan or have Wi-Fi. You originally need Wi-Fi to install a tower, unless you can find it somewhere else. But after that, uh, you can actually download the maps right from Mission Planner itself right to a folder on the uh, phone. And I'll show that next quickly. Thanks. Okay, here's how to copy your map uh, folder over to your phone. So you can use uh, maps if you don't have Wi-Fi or a data plan on your phone and you're out in the field. So at home, you'll want to go to Mission Planner. You'll want to find your map folder. The easiest way to do that is go to your Start button or whatever you have. Right click on Mission Planner and open File Location. And the location is on your C, Program Files, Mission Planner. Go up to a folder called GMAP Cache or cache. Go to tile db English folder. Okay, so right now I'm using Google Satellite Map as my default. So I'm gonna go in there. You'll see a couple of folders in here. I'm gonna delete them. Okay, so right now what you want to do is scroll down to your location or move the map to where you're gonna go. So We'll pretend this is the park I'm going to. I'm zoomed in at 18 right now, so I'll go down closer to 20. So each time you zoom in, it should make a new folder for that zoom. Maybe I'll fly it over here to this park.
Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, so now what you'll want to do is copy these files. Each one will have thumbnails. Or tiles, they call them. So in the Google Satellite Map folder, you want to control A or click on the select all button and then copy. Now open up your phone. So on the root here, well it's not really root, but anyways you, sh you shouldn't right now have a folder called tower, so you're going to have to create a folder. Just right click it. Name it tower. Then go into that folder and create another folder called maps. Then go into that folder and paste it. Okay, I'll show you guys a second way of doing it now. So I'm just going to go back to this folder here on my computer and delete these files again. Minimize that. Okay, so now I'll go to flight plan instead. All right, just to make it faster. So I'm going to find a location I want to go to. I'll say right about there. So I guess I'm going to end up climbing up on top of this roof. Okay, so I'm going to set some waypoints. It's going to go there, there, maybe here. Okay, that should be good enough. So now what I'm going to do is right click. I'm going to go to map tool. I'm going to go to prefetch pre WP path or waypoint path. So say yes. It says it's going to do it at 16, but it actually does it at a whole bunch of different ones as well. So say yes. So open this guy up. So here it is already making. Oh, that's a lie. It is already making the maps here. I can't really see it. But anyways, and here is it showing it's doing at the different zoom right now. It's at 21, 22. So I'm just going to cancel this. Open up the folder again. So basically you'll want to do the same thing this time. You'll want to control A it or select all, copy it, and then copy it to your phone again. And this is the same place you would paste it in. Okay, I've copied the files to the phone. I'll show you guys how uh, to use that part. It is a little touchy. It's going to keep asking you to, uh, this app wants to connect with Wi-Fi to find your location. Just say not now. But actually, if you're not never going to use the Wi-Fi again, just say never. But for now, I'll just push not now. So you go there, go to settings. Go to user interface. Go to map provider preferences and make sure there's a check mark in there or put a check mark in there. After that's done, push back, back, back. Not now. So every time you flip the phone, I think it's going to ask me the same question over and over again. Okay, so I'm going to connect. Connected. Okay, because in Mission Planner I had done it just at a certain zoom, I believe 18 or something. And this actually doesn't show you the zoom level. So when you see squares starting to appear, that means it's actually working. 
See how it just did that there? So it's actually fetching it off the uh, card. So you might have to play with it for a bit to just make sure you get the right zoom level. So if you go out in too far, it might not work if you never had zoomed in with Mission Planner at all, with that location. And the same with if you zoom out too far. So you may just have to play with it for a bit till you get your whole map location. But usually you're only gonna probably use one tile. Okay, so just to show you that if I delete that map folder, these should disappear. So I'll minimize that or get rid of that for a second. Open up this. There's my tower folder. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to choose delete. Okay. That's gone. I'll go back out. Click back on tower. Say not now. And now I'm stuck with nothing. So, in fact, the map folder does work. Alrighty.